How's it going, folks? So, sorry I've been absent the last few days. Like, I had like a minor cold, nothing too serious, but the main thing was it made me lose my voice. So, it still is a bit shaky. It's taking some effort to talk loudly. So, <laughs> but I really wanted to get back to doing the reactions, and I just couldn't do it if I, if I can't speak, you know. Uh, so, anywho, here we are, and the band Violet Eternal has just released a brand new song here called Under the Violet Sun. Big fans of Violet, uh, without a doubt, these guys. But the first single from this band was really solid. So I'm looking forward to this one. There's a lot of talent behind this band. And so without further ado, let's give it a listen, shall we? Rangers, go. Ellen's where they sit nice, combating endless lights. In a dream, we remain under the fire. lead vocalist on this song that dude rocks i mean i've never just seen <laughs> the vocalist just chilling there he's just out in the park and just you know singing this song <laughs> it's wild <laughs> yeah i just love the way he's so nonchalant and chill for the whole video it's tight i dig it you know this is one of those songs where it if i remember correctly the first single was a little bit more on the neoclassical side 
Whereas this song, it drifts a little bit more into that kind of J-pop power metal style. And that usually isn't my cup of tea for the most part. It, it, I can enjoy it, but it's not something that I'm as well versed in and all that stuff. But in I, originally I was thinking I was going to be saying about this song is that, you know, it, it was done well and, and, you know, all that good stuff. But it's just a little outside, you know, of what I would normally like listen to as far as the, the power metal styles go. But by the end of the song, I can't lie, I, I was all in. I, I mean, it, it's something is very infectious about this song. It, it just has such a nice, cheery sort of vibe. And I, I love the melodies. And, you know, I mean, I, I just... I just got really into it, and I was just kind of enjoying it. And it's just fun, and like I said, it's fun, it's catchy, it's melodic, it's upbeat. You got some killer guitar work in there, some nice shredding, and then also just some nice riffs that are that are catchy and melodic, and um, you know, and, and then the vocals. You know, he, he even his delivery is almost nonchalant, and, and there's something endearing about you know his vocal delivery for the song and, and it suits the style very well where it, it's kind of chill but it's kind of not like it it goes about at its own pace and sure it's got some speediness to it but at the same time it, it's it's casual almost you know and it, it's just really cool like I, I can see this song being like it for a, an anime theme song or, or something like that but also, like, you know, like, when you're in, like, a hub world or something, like, especially if it's, like, a JRPG or something, and you're going around. Like, if this song is just playing while you're going around and doing the different things you can do, maybe going to the arcade or going over to do some little side games or, you know, side quest things or, you know, just, just this, like, little hub or, or this town center square where there's multiple things you can do, you know, especially those really wide open games. Where, I mean, you can go to the mall, you can go to the casino, the arcade, the the, the clothing store. I, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. And so it being kind of like a town center in, in the the vein of, of something like that, I mean, th this would just be great. You know, every time I, I'd go into that town center, I'd just be like, bum, 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 and just go around and just chilling, man. So... It just has a really unique quality about it that, in my opinion, sets it apart from uh, some of the other kind of J-pop influenced power metal songs that I've heard, where this one, it really just got ingrained, you know, it really just grew on me quite a bit to where I'm just chilling. I'm just having a good time listening to this nice kind of peppy, upbeat uh, power metal with nice melodies, like I said before, and some really, really cool guitar licks in there with the, the solos and just the other little intricacies going in there. I mean, one heck of a guitarist he is, but... And then just the vocal delivery. It all just works really, really well. And on paper, if you, you'd presented this song to me on paper, I would just go with my initial reaction of, well, you know, I mean, sure, it seems like it will be cool, but, you know, that style isn't usually what I go for, you know, in the power metal realm. But, yeah, more power to you. But I wouldn't have thought that I, I would have liked it as much as I did. It, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It just has a very endearing quality to this uh, quality to this song. And it's just fun and, and enjoyable. It brings a smile to the face. And, um, you know, it feels like while you're listening to this song, there's no worries. You don't have a care in the world. You're, you're just chilling, uh, listening to this fun music. And, yeah, I mean, that, that's really my, my take on it, you know. So, uh, cool song. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a style that isn't usually my favorite, but this song is done in a way to where I really gravitated toward it. It really was infectious and contagious for me. And I... Yeah, I'm all in for it. If the whole album is like this, you know, I'm not sure, but it sounds like they're going to kind of weave different styles in with the songs. And so that's really cool to have that sort of diversity on the album. So 
yeah, uh, another really great track from these folks here. I have really high hopes for the for the album. I think it's gonna be really great, especially seeing the diversity and doing the different styles, you know, really well. So yeah, oh, uh, there's not much else for me to say about it. But let me know in the comments down below, folks, what you think of this song. How does it stack up for the the previous single this band released? Are you looking forward to the album? What's your take on that J-pop? influence power metal kind of style does this song stand out to you are you big fans of that genre if so how does this song stack up for you and if you're like me where it's like you know you you appreciate it you admire it but it's not like your go-to did this song kind of grab you the way it grabbed me you know let's talk about it all in the comments down below and i'll catch you all next time ranger out